Hey, what's up? What's up again, YouTubers? Um, so I just like to to take this opportunity to you know to read and you know an article on Wikipedia that I found um, quite in interesting since I also spotted the such keyword um, in my you know in those translation projects that I've got myself involved in. Um, so yeah, bear with me and. Uh, Without further ado, let us begin. And I shall, side note, I shall read, read such an article in in authentic British accent as much as I can. I as I can. So, let's begin. Priming bracket psychology, implicit memory effect whereby exposure to a stimulus unconsciously influences a response to another stimulus. Priming is a phenomenon whereby exposure to one stimulus influences a response to a subsequent stimulus without conscious guidance or intention. For example, for example, the word nurse is recognized more quickly following the word doctor than following the word bread, than, than following the, wo the word bread, not beard, sorry. I beg your pardon. Priming can be perceptual associative, repetitive, positive, negative, affective, somatic, or conceptual. Research, however, has yet to firmly establish the duration of priming effects, footnote 3 and 4, yet their onset can be almost instantaneous. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> priming works more effectively when the two stimuli are in the same modality. For example, visual priming works best with visual cues and verbal priming works best with verbal cues. But priming also occurs between modalities or between sem um, semantically related words such as doctor and nurse. Types, positive and negative priming. The term positive and negative priming refer to when priming affects the speed of processing. A positive priming speeds up processing, while a negative priming lowers the, the speed to slower than unprimed levels. Positive priming is caused by simply experiencing the stimulus, while negative, while negative priming is caused by ex experiencing the stimulus and then ignoring it. Positive priming e effects have even um, positive priming effects happen even if the prime is not consciously consciously seen. The, f the effects of positive and negative priming are visible in event-related potential, aka ERP readings. Positive priming is is thought to be caused by spreading activation. This means this means that the first stimulus activ activates parts parts of a particular representation or association in memory just before carrying out an action or task. The representation is already partially activated when the second stimulus is encountered, so less additional activation is needed for one to become consciously aware of it. Negative priming is more difficult to explain. Many models have been high um, hypothesized, but currently the most widely accepted are the distractor inhib inhibition, <clears throat> inhibition and episodic retrieval models. In the distractor inhibit inhi inhibition model, the activation of ignored stimuli is inhibited by the brain. The episodic retrieval model hypothesizes that ig ignored items are flagged do not respond by the brain. Later, when the brain acts to retrieve this information, the tag causes a conflict. The time taken to resolve this conflict causes negative priming. Although both models are still valid, recent scientific research has led scientists to lean away from the distractor inhibitor model. Footnote number 9. Perceptual and conceptual priming. The difference between perceptual, perceptual and conceptual primes is whether items with a similar form or items with a similar, with a similar meaning are primed, respectively. Perceptual priming is based on the form of the stimulus and it is enhanced by the match between the early and later stimuli. 
perceptual prim priming is sensitive to modality and exact format of the stimulus. An example of perceptual priming is the identification of an incomplete word in a word stem completion test. The representation, the presentation of the visual prime does not have to be perfectly consist consistent with later testing presentations in order to work. Studies have shown that, for, for example, the absolute size of the stimuli can vary and still provide significant evidence of priming. Conceptual priming is based on the meaning of a stimulus and is enhanced by somatic tasks. For example, table will show priming effects on chair because table and chair belong to the same category. Repetition. Repetition priming, also called direct priming, also called direct priming, is a form of positive priming. When a stimulus is experienced, it is also primed. This means that Later, experiences of stimulus will be processed more quickly by the brain. The, this effect has been found on words in the lex, lexical decision task. Decision task, semantic. Um, I'm just gonna um, skip the words that describe the the image below the header semantic. In semantic priming. The prime and the talk are from are from are from the same semantic category and share features. For example, the word dog is semantic is a semantic prime for wolf for wolf because the two are similar animals. Semantic priming is theorized to work because of spreading activation within associative networks. When a person thinks of one item in a category, similar items are stimulated by the brain, even if they are not words. Um, Morphemes can prime for complete words that include them. An example of this can, would be that the morphony, the morphony, sorry, I don't know how to pronounce this. Oh, excuse me, I beg your pardon. An example of this would be that the morphine psych can prime for the word psychology in support with further detail. When an individual processes a word sometimes that word can be affected when the prior word is linked semantically. Previous studies have been conducted. Sorry, I beg your pardon for the interruption. Uh, let's continue. In support of with further detail, when an individual processes a word, sometimes that the word that word can be affected when the prior word is linked semantically. <clears throat> Previous studies have been conducted, focusing on priming effects having a rapid um, have having a rapid rise time and a hasty decay time. For example, an experiment by Donald by Donald For Donald Frost researched the decay time of semantic facilitation in lists and sentences. Excuse me. Three experiments were conducted and it was found that semantic relationships within words differs when words occur in sentences rather than lists. Thus, supporting the ongoing dis discourse model, Associative, associative priming. In associative priming, the target is a word that has a high probability of appearing with the prime and is associated with it but not necessarily relate, related in semantic features. Dog is an associative prime for cat since the words are closely associated and frequently appear together in phrases like raining cats and dog. In like phrases, in phrases like raining cats and dogs, a similar a similar effect is known as context priming. Context priming works by using a context to speed up processing for stimuli that are likely to occur in that context. A useful application of this effect is reading written con is reading written text. The grammar and the vocabulary of the sentence provide contextual clues for words that will occur later in the sentence. These later words are processed more quickly than if they had been read alone, and the effect is greater for more difficult or uncommon words. 
response priming. In the psychology of visual perception and motor control, the term response priming, response priming denotes a special form of visual, mo of visual motor priming effect. The distinctive feature of response priming is that priming and target are represented in quick succession, typically inside the bracket, um, inside the bracket, typically less than 100 milliseconds apart, and are coupled to identical or alternative motor responses. When a speeded motor response is performed to classify the target stimulus, a prime in the a prime immediately pre preceding the target can thus induce response conflicts when assigned to a different response as the target. These response conflicts have observable effects on motor behavior, leading to priming effects, example, in response times and error rates. A special property of response priming is, is is its independence from visual awareness of the prime. For example, response priming effects can increase under conditions where visual awareness of the prime is decreasing. Side on footnote number 23, footnote number 24. Masked priming. The masked priming paradigm has been widely used in the last two decades in order to investigate both orthographic and, phono um, and um, phonological activations during visual word recognition. The term masked refers to the fact that the prime word or pseudo word is masked by symbols such as hash 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 six hashes that can be presented in a forward manner before the prime or a backward manner after the prime these masks enable to diminish the visibility of the prime the prime is usually presented less than 80 milliseconds but typically between 40 and 60 milliseconds in this paradigm in all the short soa stimuli on set as, as, uh, as, how do I pronounce this? Asynchrony. The short SO, SOA um, st um, stimuli onset as crony, i.e. the time delay between the onset of the mask and the prime associated with the mask, with the masking make the masked priming paradigm a good tool to investi investigate automatic and irre and irrepressive activations during visual word recognition. Um, Forster has argued that masked priming is a purer form of priming, as many conscious appreciation of the relationship between the prime and the target is effectively eliminated, and thus removes the subject's ability to use the prime strategically to make decisions. Results from numerous experiments show that certain forms of priming occur that are very difficult to occur with visible primes. On one, on one such example is form priming, where the prime is similar to but not identical to the target. Example, example, nature mature, nature mature, nature mature, footnote 6. 26 and 27. Kindness priming. Um, why this is so long? <laughs> Effective priming. Kindness priming is a specific form of priming that occurs when the subject experiences an act of kindness and subse subsequently experiences a lower threshold of activation when subsequently encountering positive, positive stimuli. A unique feature of kindness priming is that it causes a temporarily increased resistance to negative, negative stimuli in addition to the increased activation of positive associative networks. This form of priming is closely, is closely related to effect priming. Effective priming, effective or effect priming entails the evaluation of people, idea, ideas, ob objects, goods, etc., not only based on the phys physical features of those things, but also an effective context. Most research and con cons 
concepts about effective priming derive from the effect the effective priming paradigm where people are asked to evaluate or respond to a stimuli following positive neutral or negative primes some research suggests that um valence or violence valence. that valence positive versus negative has a stronger effect than arousal low versus high on lexical decision task tasks affecting priming might also be more diffuse and stronger might also be more diffuse and stronger when the prime barely enters conscious awareness cultural priming um, priming with different cultural knowledge alter the way people think cultural priming is a technique employed in the field of cross-cultural psychology and social psychology to understand how people interpret in events and other concepts like cultural frame switching and self con self concept for example huang and his associate and his associate display participants a different set of culture related images like US Capitol building versus Chinese temple and then watch a clip of fishing swimming ahead of a group of fishes when exposed to the latter one Hong Kong participants are more likely to reason in a collect in a collectivistic way in contrast their counterparts who view western images are more likely to give a reverse response and focus more on that individual fish footnote footnote 35 and footnote 36 people of biculture society when primed with different cultural icons they are inclined to make cultural um, cultural activated um, attribution one method is the pronoun circling task a type of cultural priming task which involves asking partic pa participants to consciously circle pronouns like we us i and me during paragraph reading <laughs> anti-priming anti-priming is a measurable impairment in processing information owing to recent processing of other information where the representations of information overlap and compete strengthening one representation after its usage causes priming for that item but also anti-priming for some other non-repeated items footnote 39 for example in one study identification accuracy of old chinese characters was significantly higher than baseline measurements example like the priming effect while identification accuracy of novel characters was slight significantly lower than baseline measurements example the anti priming effect anti priming is said to be the natural anti thesis the natural anti thesis feat of of repetition priming and it manifests when two objects share component features thereby having overlapping representations footnote 41 however one study failed to find anti-priming effects in a picture naming task even though repetition priming effects were observed Re researchers argue that anti-priming effects may not be observed in a small time frame Oh Jesus. Effects uh, if you guys can ex excuse me, I just need to moisturize my demoisturized throat. So here we have measuring the effects of priming. Priming effects can be found with many of the tests of implicit memory. Tests such as the word stem completion task and the word fragment completion task measure perceptual priming. In the word stem completion task, participants are given a list 
are given a list of study words and then asked to complete word stems consisting, consisting of three letters with the first word that comes to mind. A priming effect is observed when participants complete stems with words on the study list more of, often than with novel words with novel words. The word fragment completion task is similar, but instead of being given the stem of a word, participants are given a word with some letters missing. The lexical decision task can be used to demonstrate to demonstrate conceptual priming. Footnote number seven and footnote 42. In this task, pa participants <coughs> are asked to determine if a given string is a word or a non-word. Priming is demonstrated when participants are quicker to respond to words that have been primed with, um, with semantically related words. Example, faster to confirm nurse as a word when it is preceded by doctor than when it is preceded by butter. Other evidence has been found through brain imaging and studies from brain injured patients. From brain injured patients. Another example, another example of priming in healthcare research was studying if safety behaviors of nurses could be primed by structuring change of shift report. Footnote 43, a pilot simulation study found that there is early evidence to show that safety behaviors can be primed by including safety language into report. So here we have what, 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 what. Um, amnesia. Is it pronounced amnesia? Amnesia. Amnesia. Effects of brain injuries. Amnesia. Am, am, amnis, amnistic. Amnesic. Amnesic patients are described as those who have suffered damage to their medial temporal lobe resulting in impairment of explicit recollection of everyday facts and events. Priming studies on um, amnesic, amnesic patients have varying results, depending on both the type of priming test done as well as the phrasing of the instructions. Um, amnesic, amnesic patients, patients do as well on perpetual priming tasks as healthy patients. However, they showed some difficulties completing conceptual priming tasks depending on the specific test. For example, they perform normally on category instance production tasks, but show impaired priming on any any tasks task that involves an, an answering general knowledge questions. Footnote number 45 and 46. Phrasing of the instructions associated with the test has had a dramatic impact on an amnesic ability to com complete the task successfully. When performing a word stem completion test, patients were able to successfully complete the task when asked to complete the stem, the stem using the first word that came to mind. But when explicitly asked to recall a word to complete the stem that was on the study list, patients performed at below average levels. Overall, studies from amnesic patients indicate that priming is controlled by a brain system separate from the medial temporal system that supports explicit memory. Not much left. Okay. Aphasia. Aphasia. Perhaps the first use of somatic priming in neurological patients was with stroke patients with aphasia. In one study, patients with vernix aphasia who were unable to make somatic judgments showed evidence of somatic priming, while patients with bro Broca's aphasia who were able to make somatic judgments showed less consistent priming than than vernix aphesisks or normal controls. This dissociation was extended to other linguistic categories such as phonology and, <clears throat> and, syn and syntactic 
and syntactic processing by Bluestem, Malberg, and their colleagues. Footnote 48. Dementia. Patients with Al Alzheimer's. Alzheim how, how do I pronounce, pronounce this? Um, dementia is actually similar to... Alzheimer's. Alzheimer's, yeah. Patients with Alzheimer's disease. AD, the most common form of dementia, have been studied extensively as far as priming goes. Results are conflicting in some cases, but overall, um, eight AD patients show decreased priming effects on word stem completion and free association tasks, while retaining normal performance on lexical decision tasks. Footnote 49, these results suggest that um, that AD patients are impaired in any sort of priming task that requires semantic processing of the stimuli, while priming tasks that require visual perceptual interpretation of stimuli are unaffected by Alzheimer's. Focal cortical lesions. Patient JP who suffered a stroke in the left medial temporal in the temporal gyrus, resulting in auditory verbal agnosia, the inability to comprehend spoken words, but maintaining the ability to read and write, and with no effects to hearing ability, JP showed a normal per, um, perceptual priming, but his conceptual priming ability for spoken words was expectedly impaired. Footnote 50. Another patient, NG, who suffered from what? Prosopanomia. Prosopanomia. Who suffered from prosopa, prosopanomia. prosopanomia, the inability to retrieve proper names, following damage to his left temporal lobe, was unable to spontaneously provide names of persons or cities, but was able to successfully complete a word fragment completion exercise following priming with these names. This demonstrated intact perceptual priming abilities. Footnote 51. Here comes the cognitive neuroscience, perpetual priming, perceptual priming. Um, priming while improving performance decreases neural processing in the cerebral cortex of sensory stimuli within um, with stimulus repetition this has been found in single cell recordings and in electro what electroencephalography electroencephalography eeg upon gamma waves with pet with pe T and functional MRI. This reduction is due to representational sharpening in early sensory areas, which reduces the number of neurons representing the stimulus. These, this leads to a more selective activation of neurons representing objects in higher cognitive areas. Conceptual priming. Conceptual priming has been linked to reduce blood flow in the left prefrontal cortex. The left prefrontal cortex is believed to be involved in the semantic processing of words among other tasks. Footnote 58. The view that perceptual priming is controlled by extra extra um, extra extra triad extrastriate cortex while conceptual priming is controlled by the left prefrontal cortex is undoubted, undoubt, undoubted, undoubtedly an oversimplified view of the process and current work is focused on elucidating elucidating the brain regions involved in priming the, in priming in more detail elucidating correct Bingo. In daily life, priming is thought it is thought to play a large part in the systems of stereotyping. Footnote 60. This is because attention to a response increases the frequency of that response. 
even if the, the attended response is undesired. Footnote 60 and footnote 61. The attention given to these response or behaviors primes them for later activation. Footnote 60. Another way to explain that this process is autom automaticity. Oh, another way to explain this process is automaticity. If trait descriptions, for instance, um, for instance, um, stupid or friendly, have been frequently or recently used, these descriptions can be automatically used to interpret someone's behavior. An individual is unaware of this, and this may lead to behavior that may not agree with their personal beliefs. <coughs> Excuse me. This can occur even if the subject is not conscious of the priming stimulus. Footnote 60. An example in an example of this can, was done by 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 whom? Barge. By Barge at AL. Barge at Al. Barge at Al in 1996. Subjects were implicitly primed with words related to the sheer stereotype of elderly people. Example, Florida, forgetful, wrinkle. While the words did not explicitly mention speed or slowness, those who were primed with these words walked more slowly upon exiting the tests booth than those who were primed with, new, with neutral stimuli. Footnote 60. Similar effects were found with rude and po polite stimuli. Those primed with rude words were more likely to interpret an investigator than those primed with neutral words, and those primed with polite words were the least likely to interpret. Footnote again 60. A Yale study showed that something as simple as holding a hot or cold beverage before an interview could result in pleasant or negative opinion of the interviewer. Footnote 63. These findings have been extended to therapeutic interventions. For example, let's follow Siri here. Let's see how I am compared to Siri. These findings have been extended to therapeutic in interventions. For example, Cots. 2012 suggests that presented with depressed patients who, who self stereotypes herself as incompetent, a therapist can find ways to prime herself with specific situations in which she had been competent in the past, making memories of her competence more salient, should reduce her self stereotype of incompetence. The replicability and interpretation of goal priming findings has been has become controversial. Footnote 55. Footnote 65. Excuse me. Recent studies have failed to replicate findings, including age priming. Footnote 66. With additional reports of failure to replicate this and other findings, such as social social distance, also reported. Jesus. Social distance or social distancing, uh, such word, how come such word appeared in earlier research journals, 2012, 2013. Anyway, let us proceed. Priming is often considered to play a part in the success of sensory branding of, pro of products and connected to ideas like cross-modal correspondences and sensation transference. Known effects are, for example, consumers perceiving lemonade suddenly as sweeter when the logo of the drink is more saturated towards yellow. Footnote 69. Although semantic, Associative and form priming are well established. Some longer term priming effects were not replicated in further studies, casting doubt, casting doubt on other effectiveness or even existence. Footnote 71. Noble laureate and psychologist Daniel Kahneman, Daniel Kahneman has called on priming researchers to check the robustness of their findings in an open letter to the community, claiming that priming has become a poster, a poster child for doubts about the integrity of psychological research. Footnote 72. Other critics have asserted that priming studies suffer from major publication bias. 
experimental effect and the criticism of the field is not dealt with constructively. Footnote 74. That's it for this article. So let's hear how Siri read in daily life part this article. Priming is thought to play a large part in the systems of stereotyping. 60. This is because attention to a response increases the frequency of that response, even if the attempted response is undesired. 60. 61. The attention given to these responsible behaviors primes them for later activation. 60. Another way to explain this process <coughs> is automaticity. If trade descriptions, for instance stupid or friendly, have been frequently or recently used, these descriptions can be automatically used to interpret someone's behavior. An individual is unaware of this, and <coughs> may lead to behavior that may not agree with their personal beliefs. 62. This can occur even if the subject is not conscious of the priming stimulus. 60. An example of this was done by Barger Allen in 1996. Subjects were implicitly primed with words related to the stereotype of elderly people. Example, Florida, <coughs> wrinkle. While the words did not explicitly mention speed or slowness, those who were primed with these words walked more slowly upon exiting the testing booth than those who were primed with neutral stimuli. 60. Similar effects were <coughs> for rude or stimuli. Those primed with rude words were more likely to interrupt an investigator than those primed with neutral words and those primed with polite words were the least likely to interrupt. 60. A Yale study showed that something as simple as holding a hot or cold beverage before an interview could result in pleasant or negative opinion of the interviewer. 63. These findings have been extended to therapeutic interventions. For example, Cox et al. 2012, <coughs> suggests that presented with a depressed patient who self-stereotypes herself as incompetent, a therapist can find ways to prime her with specific situations in which she had been competent in the past. Making memories of her competence more salient should reduce her self-stereotype of incompetence. 64. The replicability and interpretation of goal priming findings has become controversial. 65. Recent studies have failed to replicate findings, including age priming. 66. With additional reports of failure to replicate this and other findings such as social distance also reported. 67. 68. Priming is often considered to play a part in the success of sensory branding of products and connected to ideas like cross-middle correspondences and sensation transference. Jesus. Known effects are, for example, consumers perceiving lemonade suddenly as sweeter when the logo of the drink is more saturated towards yellow. 69. Although semantic, associative, and form priming are well established. 70. Some longer term priming effect casting doubt on their effectiveness or even existence. 71. Nobel laureate and psychologist Daniel Kahneman has called on priming researchers to check the robustness of their findings in an open letter to the community, claiming that priming has become a poster child for doubts about the integrity of psychological research. 72. Other critics have asserted that priming studies suffer from major publication bias. 73. Experimenter effect. 66. And that criticism of the field is not dealt with constructively. 74. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. So even Siri um, primed with um, Alex Wigan can't read that fast so yeah certainly we have made some new discoveries um, I hope you have enjoyed this video um, yeah and I, I shall include some more delicate and uh, you know um, visually a uh, 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 visually pl pleasurable animations um, for for my patrons for my pa patrons on my patreon page for this video um so well for even if you don't um so you can, you will still be able to access the full um you know the full verbal content of this video series without even even if you don't um purchase a subscription of my patreon page so no worries um i hope this video can can 
can serve some purpose, some purposes, or bring you some values by my hard work, if not delicate work. So yeah, thanks again for watching and listening. You have a great day or a great night. Stay faithful and continue to hold the line with me and with others. Cheers, take care, bye-bye.